it was a tale of two rallies, one in Manila for the incumbent president and the other in Davao that by the president he succeeded. But while their camp for partners in the winning the last election, former president Rodrigo Duterte did not hold back against President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. First, the former president accused his successor of drug use and warned him he could be kicked out of the palace a second time around. Nung ako'y mayor, pinakitaan ako ng evidence ng PDEA. Doon sa listahan, nandoon yung pangalan mo. Ayaw kong sabihin yan kasi magkaibigan tayo. Kung hindi magkaibigan, magkakilala. Eh, ikaw eh. Pumapasok kayo ng alanganin. Mr. President, baka susunod ka sa dinaanan ng tatay mo. Diyan ako takot, ayaw ko mangyari sa iyo yan. Sabi ko nga sa iyo, Mr. President, kaibigan kita, bingbong, pag pinilit mo ito, lalabas ka ng Malacanian kagaya noong panahon na pinalayas kayo. The Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency denied the president's name ever cropped up in their drug list. The Philippine Drug Enforcement Agency categorically states that President Ferdinand Romualdez Vargas Jr. is not in its watch list. Contrary to the statement of former President Rodrigo Duterte, slaying that, and we quote, when he was the mayor of Davao, he was shown evidence by Idea that in the list, the name of the president was there. But I think this is fentanyl. Uh, fentanyl is the strongest painkiller that you can buy. It is highly addictive and it has a very serious uh, side effect. The former leader even tagged First Lady Lisa Marcos and Romualdez in the charter change moves, claiming there are attempts to perpetuate themselves in office. The former president also urges the military to ring in Congress, but the House's majority leader fights back. Alam mo, Parliament, ang ambisyon niyan, karamihan, galing kay Lisa Marcos, pati kay Romualdez. You want to perpetuate yourself in power at the expense ng buhay ng bayan. I am calling now the armed forces and the PNP. Protect the Constitution. Trabaho ninyo yan. Bakit pumasok sa utak ninyo yung People's Initiative? An anong nakain ninyo? There's nothing wrong with the Constitution right now, the environment in the Philippines seems to be positive. The Speaker also issued a warning against the former President. Those who are in glass houses should not cast stones. Maka hindi niya alam na marami siyang kakukulangan, di ba? At sa papilyang Duterte, siguro konting galing naman sa ating uh, mahal ng Presidente at saka pamilya niya. House political party leaders launched a resolution in support of the president after the former president's remarks, as well as the call of Davao City Mayor Sebastián Duterte for the president to resign. But the president also reminds the former president that his daughter, Vice President Sara Duterte, remains in the cabinet. Vice President, however, maintains she isn't going anywhere unless the president says otherwise. The vice president says she hasn't spoken to her brother, but she believes it may be because of attacks against her from those in the inner circle of the president. The vice president promises to endure.